Hello everyone and welcome back here to Goetia. It's been a little while, but I'm hoping to pick this up and get right back into it. We're here with Abigail Blackwood. Hello! And she's busy haunting this light at the moment. Now, last time we opened up some new areas and I think it's time we went and explored them. So what we're going to do is we're going to head upwards first and see what we can see around here. And then I think we're going to go down to the kitchen and follow this path. See where that leads. And I apologize for the noise in the background. But there are other people in this house now. And they have this nasty habit of moving and breathing and talking. It's, it's terrible, really. But what can you do? Let's get on with this, shall we? Just... Uh, yes, there we go. Journal. We've done everything we can in this area, but there's some spaces, so there's still some more stuff to do. And we are here, if I remember right. And so let's head upwards. Okay. Through this doorway. Come on. There we go. Alright, so anything down here? I think we've seen all this. Yes, we have. Okay. Up we go. And let's just have a quick look around here. That upwards is blocked, but we have doors on either side, and there was yes, things to look at here. Okay, I don't know what that did. Oh. Okay, so there's three switches there. I can switch them one at a time. It's some sort of recess in the wall. I should be able to open it. Let's give that a try. Shall we have a go? Ooh, what do we have here? There's a tube with a cylinder inside of it. All right, now I wonder if this affects this. This is an empty glass tube. It communicates with the upper floors. Okay. Uh, there it comes back. Alright, so we should be able to use that later on to put something in to move it up. Okay, we can't go up at the moment. Let's go this way. It's been a while, and I really do apologise for that, guys, but I've been very, very busy. But things are starting to settle down now, and at least until I leave the country, we should be able to carry on doing this just fine. Okay, so let's have a, a look here. Someone was apparently too small to achieve the goal. I left the same trace here. Okay, that makes no sense to me at all, but uh, what we can do... I need a tool to open this panel. Okay. Let's have a look here. A photograph that's seen better days. I can't make anything out. Mother and father entertained their guests around this billiard table. I wasn't invited, of course, but my room is located just beyond this wall. I spent hours listening to them. Okay, what have we got here? Oh. Mother, uh, no, no, we've heard that one. Ah, there are messages scattered all over the manor. It's all quite peculiar. There we go. Right, let's have a look at this one then. My dearest son, I am certain to have fallen in. I am certain to have fallen so low in your esteem. Your little plot is not a hard one to notice. The notes you stole are important to me, but I don't need them anymore. Suppose you hid them in your flat in the village so that you gave them to that Stanford girl? May they teach you something. 
We'll have the opportunity to talk about you, mis your misdeeds. You can be sure of it. Okay. Alright. Actually, I wonder. I'm sure I'll find some answers in Oak Plus Village. It's not that far from the manor. Oh, good. We've got a reason to go there now. Alright. The Forgotten Village. In the note I found on the pool table, Annie wrote to Alexander, her second son. She mentions secret search in a third party, Stanford. It all leads to Oakmarsh. I should be able to investigate without much difficulty. That's good. And do we have anything new here? No, 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 no. Okay. And here. No, it just says, it just thinks we hadn't read those yet. Okay, right. Anything else here? Nope. Let's move on. Oak Marsh is now accessible. It's located west of the manor. It is possible to come back to the manor at any time by simply going there or clicking on the map. Okay, so this is all sealed off. If we look at the map... Yes, we've been down, so... Well, that's opened up an area for us. That is a good start. Shoop. Let's go through what we've got through here. Ooh. With the head tucked underneath her arm, she walks the bloody down. Right. This is more like how I imagined ghosts before, that is. Father might have had some peculiar tastes in decorating, but he wouldn't have kept decapitated statues. I think that's what we call a hint, children. And what do we have here? This screwdriver is in good condition. A tool like this is always useful to keep around. Alright, so I can pick that up. I can possess that. Alright, so we'll leave that there for now, but let's try to remember it, shall we? I remember a wardrobe, but this looks more like a confessional. Yes. Did someone put it here while waiting to replace it? Ah, it's one of the heads. It's strewn with scattered trinkets. And I can't open it just yet. Okay. Alright, we're blocked off that way. And we're blocked off that way. Uh, there's more pictures to look at. Annie, just like in my memories, where are you hiding? Why has this got all bubbly on it? There's a note hidden in the frame. Remembrance of our discoveries. Oh, this handwriting is hard for me to read. And of heartwarming sleepless nights. The forest will miss you, Anton. Anton? The name doesn't ring a bell, but you might have some answers for me. The woods are behind the manor. I should follow this lead. Eltwich Forest is now accessible. It's located east of the manor. It's possible to come back here to the manor at any time by simply going there or clicking on the map. Okay, so... Let's have a quick look. It looks like we might still be able to go up a little bit, so let's have a look. Let's cruise along the top. Uh, yes, we can still go up here. Okay. I've read most of these novels, but I don't remember them. I don't like these patterns. No, to be honest with you, neither do I. Okay, so we can't go either side, but we can go up a little bit. 
Oh, what's that on the wall? Not something we can look at, apparently. Up a little bit more. Yes, there's some stuff here. Can't go up. We can go right. There's a few things here to look at. All right, so. So we can twist this, but we don't know what to do with it yet, so let's leave it. And empty, of course. Ooh. A photograph, or oh, what's left of it. At least I really like this. I can make a farm, or is it a cottage? Okay, so we can possess that. That's interesting. Ooh. It's blocked up and down. But there looks like lots of stuff here to have a look at. So let's start having a look at it, shall we? I don't see any paintings in this room. Only photographs. These pictures must be important or they wouldn't be framed. Yes. I don't know what these are. They're bottles. This box holds nothing interesting. That in itself is interesting. Some containers, blank paper, a few failed photographs. How I'd love to use these things. Some landscapes, buildings, ruins. Not a single face. No, it's written in a hurry. Eureka! Things to try. Is the photographer the only one who can cast the spell? Is the soul bound? What projection for the photographed landscape? Copied memory? Own existence? Additional questions. What is the link? The human branch of, the, of Goetia? Lanan? No, Lanan, isn't it? Not human. Lanan. If one can enter and leave a photograph, is the same true of the object? What about soul projection? Returning to one's body. Need to study this with mother. Lansari mother. Is the photograph a gateway to an existing place? Does the spell create a new place? Need to test with a montage. If a new, autonomous, immutable universe is created, the implications are unimaginable. Oh, wow. So, in and out of a picture? An autonomous and unalterable universe? I was expecting a guide on developing photographs. But this doesn't make any sense. I don't like this. This room might have a few more secrets to learn. But I'd rather not stay here any longer than I'd have to. Hmm. Still, it looks like we are talking about the ability to travel into other dimensions. Ah. A few vials, some clothes, and clean linen. This all seems quite harmless at least. And... Oh, we can shut the door again. Okay. Oh, half a picture. Someone slept here recently. If only I could find a living person. Though, I'm not sure if this is one I'd like to meet. I can sense something in this photo. I see if it was possible to see you further. Maybe if I focus some more. Ooh. What on earth has happened? I don't see colours anymore. It's all black and white. Like in a photograph. It doesn't make any sense. I want to get out. Right, let's see what the journal has to say first. The Ghosts of Eldwich. 
Annie talks about someone called Anton and a forest in the eastern part of the estate. Was he living there as a recluse? I don't recall anything being there. No house. Not even a hut. What is his connection with Annie? If she's left the manor, maybe he'll know where she's hiding. I don't really know my way around the forest, but I must explore it. All right. Gabriel's Folly. If I remember correctly, red light is used to develop pictures. The room was refitted for this purpose by one of Annie's sons who lived and worked there. It's a very quiet place, as if bathing in love and admiration. I'm sure I can learn a few things from this place. My ghostly condition, the manor with all its demons, and now this? I've been pulled into a photograph that I was trying to possess. Is this commonplace in this era, or some new folly devised by the Blackwoods? I should be able to get out of here easily, but first, I should look for potential clues. Alright, so it looks like we're opening up a lot of areas now. Now, I'm wondering, yes, I think we can... I can photograph of the chamber I came from. Maybe I can use it to get out. Yes, I think you can. And it looks like we're in a mock Tudor village. Oh, and we're inside a house now. This is unreal. I can sense every detail of these clothes. This place is making me see things, sending my senses into disarray. It's driving me mad. Some pages have been torn away. Let's tear them back. Gabriel Hodgkin, 2nd of February, 1940. Mother's work inspired me to undertake an insane project which has obsessed me day and night, and today, at long last, I decided to begin. I've already gathered all the materials I'll need and took all the necessary precautions. I was pray afraid of how Mother would react when she found out, but her support has been unfailing as always. According to her, my work and her research could benefit from each other, and I agree. I can't wait. A few years ago, I would have laughed at myself. Today, however, I, even if it seems mad, I know that some sort of immortality can be achieved. It is possible as long as one can project one's soul into an artifact, be it natural or artificial. That being said, I would not recommend using a natural artifact. The the scant information we could gather suggests that the risk is too great. The results so far are unconvincing, but each day proves to us that Anton and Mother are not that far from their goal. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. More. As for me, I'm thinking of a somewhat different way to temporarily project a soul into an object, something that would enable me to access its history from its creation to its daily use. I'll start with a familiar object I know every detail of. I don't want to risk anything. As such, I'm thinking of an object created by my own hand. That offers an infinite number of possibilities. A photograph. Of course, I can't possibly know the chemical and physical composition of a photograph, but I am very familiar with the technique, from the framing to the shooting to the developing. Photographing a well-known place should limit the chances of getting lost. It would be a shame not to be able to find my way out of the object. Okay, there's another picture here, and I think I can go into it. This is a photograph of a forest. That's the same here. This looks like a half-buried fortified building. Oh. 
Oh, this looks like a half buried photo. Okay, right. So, all right. So I can move between pictures there. All right. Ew. Okay. I think we know how to deal with that. So let's go and fix this picture. In we go. And back here. And I would be surprised if, yes, we can possess this piece of painting. Excellent. All right, so let's take it over here. Uh, join them together. There we go. Okay, guys, I think that is probably about 20 minutes, so let's leave it there. We'll pick this up again next time. Until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the ghost of Abigail Blackwood. Thank you. And good night.